Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to create glowing 3D text in Photoshop without even using the 3D tool. So let's dive in. First, let's create a new document. Go to File menu and New, and set the dimensions to 3200 pixels by 1800 pixels. The color mode is set to RGB color, and for the background, select Transparent, and hit Create. Next, let's create our background. Select the Paint Bucket tool from the toolbar, choose a dark purple color, and fill the canvas. To keep things organized, rename this layer to Background. Now it's time to add some text. Grab the Text tool, select white color for the text, and type out your word. I'll write Glow in Montserrat font. You can choose any bold font that suits your design. Increase the size of the text to fit well on the canvas, and use the Move tool to position it in the center. Before we go further, let's convert the text layer into a smart object. With Smart Object, you can go back and change the text at any time without losing any effects. Now let's duplicate the text layer. Select the text layer and press Ctrl J or Command J on a Mac. Disable the visibility of the first layer. We'll work on the duplicate layer, which will be our front text. Once your text is ready, let's add some style to it. Head down to the bottom of the Layers panel and click on the FX icon. Select Gradient Overlay. First, click Reset to default to clear any previous settings. Set the Blend Mode to Normal and the Opacity to 100%. Next, click on the Gradient Editor. Here, we'll choose two colors for our gradient. For the first color, select a light blue. And for the second color, pick a blue. Click OK to confirm your gradient. Now, change the style from linear to radial. Uncheck the Align with Layer option to give us more flexibility. And adjust the scale to about 110. Now, to add some depth to our text, let's use Bevel and Emboss. As always, click Reset to default first. Keep the style set to Inner Bevel and the technique to Smooth. Increase the Bevel size to 7 and set the depth to around 900 for a strong bevel effect. Leave the soften value at zero. Now, let's adjust the lighting. Change the angle so the light source is coming from the left side. Make sure the gloss contour is set to linear. For the highlight mode, set it to screen and increase the opacity to 100% for a bright shine. For the shadow mode, decrease the opacity to around 30%. Click OK to apply the layer styles. Now, the front look of the 3D text is complete. Let's disable the front text layer for now. Next, let's focus on the bottom text layer that we had previously disabled. It will be used to make our text 3D extruded. Select the bottom text layer and press Ctrl T or Command T on Mac to enter free transform mode. Now, we need to move this layer slightly to create the 3D extrusion effect. Press the left arrow key on your keyboard once, and then press the down arrow key once to move the text left and down by one pixel. This might seem subtle, but it creates a slight offset. Confirm the free transform. So now that we've moved the text layer once, we can use the shortcut keys to repeat the action. Just press Ctrl Alt Shift T or Command Option Shift T on Mac, and Photoshop will duplicate and repeat the transformation, shifting the text layer the same way again and again. Keep pressing the shortcut keys until you get the desired thickness for your 3D extrusion. As you can see, by duplicating and shifting the text in small increments, we create a 3D effect, which builds up layer by layer for the extrusion illusion. Let's enable the front text layer again to give you a clearer view of how the 3D extrusion looks. To keep everything organized, select all the extruded layers by selecting the top layer, holding Shift, and then clicking the bottom layer, and group them together. Rename the group to Extrude. Now that all the extruded layers are in a group, let's add some style to our extrusion. Select the group and go to the FX icon. Start with a color overlay. Choose a dark blue color to match the gradient on the front text. Next, add inner shadow. But instead of creating a shadow, we're going to use it as an inner light. So change the blend mode to linear dodge. Set the color to light blue and increase the opacity to 100%. Adjust the angle of the light. Tweak the distance 
and increase the size for a soft glowing effect. Next, let's add an outer glow. Reset the settings, then change the blend mode to Linear Dodge. Lower the opacity to around 50%. Choose a solid color for outer glow and pick a blue color. Increase the size to about 185 pixels and adjust the range to enhance the glow intensity. Finally, add a drop shadow to make the text pop even more. Reset the settings, increase the opacity to 100% and disable the Use Global Light option. Adjust the angle. Set the distance to around 50 pixels and the size to 27 pixels. Once you're happy with the settings, click OK. We're almost there, but something's missing. Here you can see the only dark blue color in the 3D extrude, which is giving it a kind of flat look. So let's add more depth to the extrusion. Select the front text layer and apply a drop shadow. Reset the settings, change the blend mode to linear dodge and pick a blue color. Set the opacity to 70%. Disable use global light and adjust the angle. Increase the distance to 40 pixels and increase the size to 40 pixels. Play around with the settings until everything looks just right. When you're satisfied, hit OK. We're almost there. Let's add more glowing effect. Duplicate the front text layer and name it glowing. We're going to add Gaussian blur to it, but first we need to remove all the layer styles. So right click on the duplicated layer and choose clear layer styles to remove any existing styles. Next, go to Filter Menu, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Increase the radius until you get the glowing effect you want. Set the blending mode to Color Dodge and reduce the fill to around 15%. If you want a more glowing effect, duplicate this layer. Name it More Glowing. Place it above the background to enhance the background glow. Since this layer is a smart object, you can adjust the Gaussian blur value at any time. Additionally, we will increase the fill to increase the intensity of the glow. And the best part is, this design is fully editable. Double click on the front text smart object. Change the text to whatever you want. Save it and it will automatically update in the main document. Easy and efficient. And that's it! A stunning glowing 3D text effect in Photoshop without using the 3D tools.